Hey now, welcome to Northern Michigan Biker. I'm Rob, Big Yeti, Yeti, whatever you want to call me. But uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, front lights, headlights, and uh, passing lights. So um, I have a 2012 Ultra Limited. I have myself on a pretty nice set of lights, as you can see. But uh, today, Eagle Light sent me a little, a little gift box and... Uh, All right, we're getting to work, Betch. I know I was trying to trim my mustache and uh, decided to shave it off instead because I shouldn't be trusted with uh, razors. Anyways, Eagle Light sent me a new headlight and two new passing lamps here. So as you can see, this headlight's uh, pretty slim, right? So we're going to open it up real quick. I've already tore into this once, so it's not going to be a big grand reveal. But... Uh, they sent me their new slimline LEDs. Look at these things. Look at that. Pretty nice. I'm going to put these things, obviously, on the front of the bike. Along with these uh, passing lamps. Right here. That'll match. Should look pretty cool. I've seen some videos on these already, and they are bright AF. So I'm not going to do a whole proper install video of them, but uh, we'll run through a few things. So let me uh, take you over here to the bike. All right, so here we are. These are some pretty nice lights, but uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They are they're super bright. They work just fine, but uh, they're not Eagle lights. So. Um, they're kind enough to uh, send me some things in return. I make a video on it and, uh, I'm going to make sure that, uh, I'm running the product that I'm, I'm out here, uh, you know, supporting and telling you guys about. So, um, first things first, we're just going to take these lights out all of them at once and, uh, put them all back in. I can't be the only guy who has, uh, one of the wife's butter knives from the kitchen in here to help pry things. Am I? Maybe I am. Either way, she doesn't watch my video, so it doesn't matter. All right, well, we got one passing lamp on. Anna? I'm not too sure, though, if I'm going to run these eyebrows on here. It's hard to really see it. Let me see that. Um, now with these on, because, uh, I don't know. I think it looks okay, but... I was thinking about maybe doing like a black bezel, is that what it's called, around here. But we'll see. I don't have it tightened up yet, but just, you know, playing with it. But it looks good. I mean, that one looks good. But if you haven't put these lights on before, let me explain to you just how super easy it is. You got a, a plug there. Notice there's a little bit of a, a slot. See that guy right there? I'm going to bring you over here now. I don't have professional camera equipment, so bear with me. Now, for the sake of the video, we're just going to plug it in. But you see that little nub? And see how that has a slot right there? You make sure that that little nub slides into that. Crazy, I know. Then you tuck all your stuff in there. You put your light in and your thing and your stuff and that's how it goes but a little handy job when you do have uh horizontal lines on a bike like this it's it's kind of nice to have the bike sitting upright so you can you can level those out nice and easy because when the bike's leaning over you know they, they go on like that or actually they'll be like that because you're putting them on level so this little handy little tip from good old Uncle Rob. But yeah, easy as that. That's how it goes on. Then when you're removing your old lights, if you have a plug and play option like this, these just pull those old tabs back a little bit, pops right out. So 
Nothing to it. Well, we got one of those uh, conundrums my dad used to always talk about. Um, one of the little tiny set screws. Not set screws, but black little screws that go into here. And you screw that plate on that holds the light in. I watched it fall, bounce, do a Simone Biles somersault, bounce. And now she's in the abyss. When I built this house, I knew I was going to be doing stuff on this side of the garage. I'm like, we should put a screen in there. I talked myself out of it because it's going to collect all the, all the gunk and the shit. But I didn't do it. So now I get to tear into that because I need that. Because <laughs> otherwise the light's going to vibrate and look stupid. But other than that, she's done. I just threw this on for, for looks right now until I can tear into that guy. But yeah, let's uh, let's turn her on and bask in the glory. Just take me home. That's what she said. Another good one. You're on fire. Woo-wee! Those puppies are bright. They look good. They look good. I'm happy. I'm very happy. They look cool. I'm going to shut them off so you can actually see what they look like. But, uh, yeah, these things are, are nice. Easy install. But, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks good. I wasn't too sure about that. You know, I was like, it looks cool. What is it? My bike, cool. You know, because I've seen them a lot like on like performance baggers. And by no means is my clapped out 2012 a performance bagger at all. The only thing performing on it is me performing my ass down to get me a chili dog. But this thing is, it looks nice. I like how it looks. There's a nice profile to it. Once I find that uh, screw... That'll be on there a lot gooder. Um, my only thing, and it's not, not Eagle Lights, it's just me. I think I'm going to switch over to, to some black bezels. But, uh, yeah, looks nice. So, hmm. Well, that's that. Easy install, fun to do. Took me about 20 minutes to put it all on. Um, on top of losing my screw, which is still down in the abyss, which I'm going to fish out here shortly. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in lights like these or any other lights that Eagle Lights do offer, uh, they have them for Honda, Indian, all sorts of stuff, even your side-by-sides and your Jeeps. So um, not only lights, they have horns, they have uh, secondary lighting accessories, saddlebag lights. They go back here. As far as I know, those are only 2014 and up as of right now. Um, cause that would be kind of cool to throw on, throw on the bike now. Um, they just have all, all sorts of cool stuff there. So, um, they've been awesome to work with, very generous, and I do appreciate you guys. So, uh, thank you Eagle Lights for the opportunity to, uh, represent and, and, and show off your product. So if you guys are interested, head over to Eagle Lights, which is www.eaglelights.com. At checkout, use a discount code Northern Michigan Biker, all one word, and receive 15% off your order. So... I'm going to be full disclosure with you guys on this. I do get a little bit of a kickback. I get about 5%. And uh, what I've decided to do is use that 5% um, that I do get. I'm going to be donating that to Rain Liberty Ranch to help out with our mission, the Some Gave Ball Memorial Weekend Ride, which you can uh, see right there. And uh, all the proceeds that I get from this after tax and things like that is going to be donated to the ranch. Um, I'm not making enough money off it to to line my pockets with it anyways and that's not what it's about so um i would be doing this for free 100 percent because uh, i do believe in this this product from eagle lights and uh you know they let me they let me put the stuff on my bike and keep it so that's payment enough for a for a 10 15 minute video but uh i do appreciate them and uh head on over again we're going to be uh 
giving away my proceeds, which is the 5% from each sale to Rain Liberty Ranch to help with our ride that's coming up here May 25th. That's the Some Gave All Memorial Weekend Ride. So if you guys are interested in that, please head over to our Facebook page, our group as well. We have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. The Facebook group is Northern Michigan Bikers with an S. Um, click on to join, and I'll, I'll put you on there right away. You can see what's going on with the uh, motorcycle scene up here in Northern Michigan, as well as our charity events that we put on. And then over at Northern Michigan Biker, yeah, this is that's a channel that really helped promote that, plus the, uh, the YouTube channel here. So um, I do appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye.